The best thing about Hindus is they're eternally confused. That's the greatest thing about them. No, I'm not saying this in a negative way. Because it's very important that human beings see what I do not know as I do not know. So when we said Hindu, you must understand this. This word comes from two geographical features. He comes from Himalayas, the Himalayan ranges. You ever been to Himalayas? You must go, young man. Because uh, being in India, if you don't see Himalayas, you really missed it. You must see all young people. At least once in your lifetime, you must walk through Himalayas because it's beyond imagination, beyond anybody's imagination. So, Himalayas and in the south, Indusagara, today, today we're calling it Indian Ocean, this was called as Indusagara. The land that lies between Himalayas and Indusagara, we called it Hindu. Why we became reverential about these two geographical features is, when we had evolved our civilization, when we had evolved our mathematics, culture, music, many other aspects and sciences here, rest of the world were nomadic and roaming around like beasts, killing each other. And all these beasts were kept away because of Himalayas and Indusagara. We knew we are not fighting men. We did not build huge armies for invasion, but we built music with most profound sort of music. Nowhere on the planet do you have as complex a music system and mathematical systems as we have, because people invested in this – music, mathematics, spirituality, astronomy. Because men were invested in this, there were not enough fighting men. So we revered Himalayas and Indusagara. We know these invaders and murdering hordes were kept out only because of Himalayan ranges and the ocean. So we call this land as Hindu. Anybody who is born in this land is Hindu. An earthworm in this land is Hindu. Oh, are you promoting only one religion? I'm talking about a geographical identity. When a lion born in Africa can be an African lion, why can't an earthworm born in this land be a Hindu earthworm? Now you've gotten this idea that Hindu means some kind of a religion. No, this is because of aggression from outside. It is the English people who, be, who invented Hinduism. Otherwise, in the same house, people are worshipping five different gods and one guy doesn't worship anything and they're all Hindu. One guy chants mantra, another guy is silent, another guy doesn't do anything, but all of them are Hindus. So he doesn't subscribe to any particular belief system. Well, there is an overarching culture, but above all the land that we called as Hindu. So if we say this is Hindustan, not us, Pakistani people call us Hindustan all the time. In the south, you may not be using the word Hindustan, but in the north, in the Hindi language, generally they're calling it Hindustan. Because this was called as Hindustan. What was so unique about this land is, this was the only land on the planet where there was no the god. All the gods that so-called Hindus worship are men who walked on this planet. Rama, Krishna, Shiva, these are people, historical men who walked on this planet. Because of the phenomenal way they lived, people bowed down to them, recognizing certain qualities in them. When we say recognizing qualities, they did not do any miracles, they did not fly in the sky, they did not drop from the sky, none of those things happened. Normal birth, normal life, they all got married, they went through all the troubles of life and war and uh, wife and all the problems, okay? <laughs> more problems than you can imagine. You look at Krishna's life, Rama's life, more problems than you can imagine, isn't it? 